Hey everybody, Shot TV's Kim Kasher here at the corner of Donald and Broadway where uh, there is a Starbucks, but there are also a little bit of a, an option for you coming up in the month of September as we talk about coffee breaks in general. I'm here with Trudy Maddie with the Alzheimer's Society of Manitoba. Trudy, tell us how people are going to make their coffee count in September and October. Uh, throughout the months of September and October, people will host uh, in their homes or at their workplace a coffee break. And in exchange for a cup of coffee, we are hoping that uh, their friends and family and neighbours will make a donation to the Alzheimer's Society. A simple way to raise a little bit of money for the Alzheimer's Society. Uh, why is it important? Why is the awareness and uh, and uh, I mean fundraising important? Well, only two percent of our funding comes from government, so fundraising is a ex very very important thing for the Alzheimer's Society. But besides that, the awareness is is so important because the stigma that's attached to Alzheimer's disease and dementia is is huge and we really are trying everything we can to reduce that stigma so that people aren't afraid to talk about it and so that people aren't afraid to help out and help a person and to recognize um, how people react to different things if they have Alzheimer's disease because it can be a little bit scary there's some interesting kind of reactions and uh, yeah it, it's just something that uh, we're trying to do. Awesome. Now, when it comes to that coffee break, uh, you're going to give an example of it coming up in later on in September. So, if people aren't quite sure how it can go about, it could be pretty simple, it could be more elaborate, but what are you folks doing? Well, on Thursday, September 20th, we're hosting a coffee break here outside our office door on Broadway and Donald, uh, where we will serve you coffee and, you know, maybe lemonade or something and a treat in exchange for a donation to the Alzheimer's Society. It's from 11 to 2, and uh, we hope you can come out and join us. And if people want to host their own coffee breaks, uh, can you help them out with that? Absolutely. We have a kit that's available that has your first pot of coffee, tips on how to host a coffee break, um, posters, coffee cup cutouts, buttons and stuff. And it's really as simple as you want it to be or as elaborate as you want it to be. Love the construction here. Um, <laughs> Offer a cup of coffee, you can offer treats, you can offer drinks, and uh, yeah, it's it's easy, easy, easy to do. Awesome. Yeah, and it is a busy corner, which is a good thing when you want to get the word out to a lot of people. That's right, absolutely. And the website, where can people contact you? Uh, www.alzheimer.mb.ca, or then call the office, 943-6622, and we can send you a kit and help you out anyway. Perfect. Well, we're going to leave you with a story that we did actually a couple of months ago on Bob Knight, a guy who uh, really, when it comes to that awareness and talking about the issue, he does a great job of that kind of um, awareness for you folks. So we'll leave you now with Bob Knight. Thank you very much, Trudy. Thank you.